Again, how does this keep happening? I installed a new antivirus, why am I getting viruses? They told me I wouldn't get any more viruses on their website when I downloaded their software. Why am I getting viruses and malware and it just seems like it never stops. How? How is this still happening? Hi folks, it's Falcon. And today on Waste Time, we ask the question, how do viruses and malware infect your computers? Viruses have been around a long time. Two brothers from Pakistan released one of the first computer viruses, Brain, in January 1986. They actually did it without any kind of malicious intent and included their real phone numbers in the code so people could call them and have it removed from their computer. Viruses go back a few years before that. For instance, the Elk Cloner virus in 1982 was, well, made as a joke. Since then, viruses and malware have developed a significant amount. It's not always easy to get one off your computer, and it's quite annoying to find out that you have a new one on it, but they're always developing, always creating new ones, and constantly evading detection. So how do you get one? So let's talk about the most common way first. Email. You know how you get a message that doesn't necessarily look like a real message or have a real attachment on it or seem entirely legitimate? People can often still be pretty stubborn and go ahead and click it anyway. Or maybe they don't know. Maybe it does look like a legitimate email. For instance, that Google Docs thing that sent out tons of emails before getting shut down very quickly. It's not impossible for a smart person to fall for something like that, where it uses actual Google encryption to continue what it's doing, but a lot of viruses spread themselves simply by counting on the fact that some people are, well, stubborn. Oh, my grandson tells me not to click these links, but this says that indeed I will be receiving a large sum of money Money if I do click them, so I will. Oh, look at that, I have another virus. Better call my grandson. But one would assume that if you have antivirus software installed, that that would still stop it. Not entirely the case. Often little bits of viruses or malware are modified as antivirus software is given the ability to recognize it. For instance, its name could be changed. Now, I would hope that you're not using a virus scanner that just like decides it's not a virus because somebody added like not a virus into the file name or something like that. No, uh, it's a completely different, there's, there's, there's characters in it that aren't in the virus one, so. Uh. But I'm oversimplifying it for the purpose of understanding what goes on. Lines of code may be changed, rearranged. It could get embedded into another file, like a Word file. An antivirus program can only detect things that it recognizes, and for it to recognize something, it has to have a copy of it somewhere. Whether it's in its own files, or it pings a cloud somewhere that has all the viruses, I don't know. Now that doesn't mean every virus scanner has a copy of every single virus, but it does have a file that contains certain amounts of information and code from viruses. Assuming you reverse engineered this file and found exactly how it was recognizing your virus and changed that, it would probably stop recognizing your virus. Another very popular way is social media or, well, pirating stuff. Social media in that you can pretty much post a link to anything and people will click it. Hey, this person I follow on Twitter just posted a link about how you should always buckle your seatbelt. Oh, well, he must have posted it for some reason. It can't just be that. It has to be like a good seatbelt PSA. Oh, would you look at that? Ransomware. Well, that is a dick move on your part, verified user. Oh wait, that's just his name. He's not actually verified. I've been had. And then of course, there's pirating stuff. Something that you have no legal recourse to do. You're pretty much cornered. You're doing something that if you were to seek legal recourse on somebody giving you a virus, you would get in trouble legally with an almost certainty. Basically, a computer virus or malware infects your computer by exploiting some type of mistake you might make. It's social engineering. If you're conditioned to just click through everything, you might not actually read what you're doing. You might not pay attention. You might install something willy-nilly. There is more than a few of us that do that. I've certainly uninstalled the Yahoo toolbar about a million times because I clicked next too fast and didn't realize there was an option not to install it. Well, viruses basically take that concept and don't give you the option not to install it, whether it's through email, through attaching itself to other software, or any number of methods. 
Just be careful. Some viruses and malware are worse than others and can permanently corrupt files on your computer or make it run really badly. What's the worst virus you got? Leave us a comment, let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. And if you're not subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. We upload new videos all the time. And the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time, right here on Waste Time.